Hey guys, welcome back to Simu UK, and uh, we're up for another little jaunt around uh, Italia, the Italia DLC map. So we're based in Bari. We've just did a drive down here to Torino or Taran Taranto, Taranto. Um, and what we're going to do now is turn my earphones on so that I can hear. Ah, where's Napoli then? Where is Napoli? Oh, it's here. Uh, we could go to Napoli and then do that whole thing that I was going to do in reverse. Let's try that. Let's go to Ranto Napoli. If we can find something. Toronto, Toronto, Toronto. Lots of jobs in Toronto. Napoli. Perfect. Alrighty then. Let's hope we got uh, a sat nav in this one. And we don't have a sat nav. Oh, balls. Well, that's going to make this interesting, isn't it? We're going to have to use the old map. The old map approach. So where are we? Oh, we're going from Barry. I didn't realise. I thought we'd be in Toronto. Uh, I was not obviously not paying attention there. So we're going to come out of here, do a left, uh, follow it all the way round, and then second left great let's just check my settings alrighty how do I get out of here <laughs> Is that the exit down there? Hmm. I think we found the exit. See you later, Bob. tight isn't it oh that's a bit tight oh hang on wow what has happened to my steering that was all right a minute ago now it's an absolute disaster whatever I did I obviously uh, made things very bad controls Problem solved, and off we go. <laughs> I was trying to do it blind. Didn't work, did it? We're going to have an issue now, aren't we?
Uh, are we through? I think we're through. That's me trying to give you guys like scenic views so you can see what's going on. Obviously I need a bit of practice before I can make that uh, an effective thing. But all the, look at all those yachts over there on the right. It's pretty awesome. Be nice if you could pick some yachts up and drive them about from an actual uh, harbour as it were. That's an awkwardly placed bloody central pillar. Not so much the top bit, it's the bottom bit that's the problem. Okay, where are we going from here then? Straight on by the looks of things. All over the place, look. Oh, are we coming off here? I do believe we are. Definitely need a bigger monitor. All right, I'm going to have to consult the map. <laughs> I was going on instinct there for most of that. Okay, yeah, I've completely gone the wrong way. How did I end up over there? How did I end up over there? All right, so we're going to be turning around and... Uh, Going the right way, I guess. Whoops, a daisy O's. So, first wrong turn today, and it was a good one. See now, what's odd is that um, I must be going right here. Look at those little sports cars. I'm not entirely sure what that is actually. And the weird thing is, I do know what it is. I just can't think what it is. Can't seem to get the information from my brain out through my lips. It'll come to me eventually, or I'll go and Google it and then go, yeah, of course it is. I nearly had it then, I nearly said it then. Oh, speed in. So we're looking for signs to Napoli, and it's really not easy to do that when uh, you've got a monitor as far away as mine is. And. Uh, steering is as bad as this Napoli straight on cheers fella
I think we might be coming off here. If it's not here, then it's the next one. Let's have a, oh, it's just a toll bridge. Oh, sorry, camper. Sorry, campers. Oh, we can just do this button. Go on then, dude. Kind of caused a bit of a situation there, Mr. E. Acres. Not sure you needed to come into my lane then. So, I am desperately on the lookout now for somewhere that goes towards Napoli. Very nice scenery out here. Some uh, vine fields, maybe? Vine fields? No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Looks like an orchard of some sort, maybe. Should be a lot of wine growing out. Oh my god, the steering on this game. The slightest touch. Look at that. That should not be veering me all over the road like that. This is these are tiny, tiny movements. Right, I'm a bit concerned now. That services. I feel like maybe we should check the map once more. I can't wait until I look at my own truck. Okay, next turn in. Next one. No, it's telling me it's not the next one. But hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Maybe I'm going to Pesquale, Lily, whatever it's called. Oh, I see. Okay, good job I checked. We do want to be in this one. So both these lanes are going to Napoli, alright then we'll go back into the slow lane, which is where we should be. Yeah, the roads split quite nicely here, something that was always lacking in ETS 2, the default original version, especially in the UK. But this is nice, this is very nice. Uh, Unexpected, fortunate lane change there for me. It's 
holding a straight line is just so tricky in this game. For me, anyway, I really struggle with it. Right, uh, let's take this opportunity to check where we're going next. Sorry about this. No sat-nav, after all. So we just stay on this all the way to the end. Basically, yeah, just follow it right down to the very end so you can't go any further. Perfect. That's exactly the kind of drive that you want when you've got no sat-nav. Most definitely. Little farmhouse over there, looks like. Wow, sorry about that. Came out of nowhere. That reminded me of Strawberry Fields. Pretty cool, isn't it? Reminds me a bit of Cornwall, actually. Cornwall's kind of like this. Obviously, the buildings aren't the same, but uh, the vast expanse, the uh, the long, long motorway down the middle of these great hills and fields. So dangerous getting a decent visual like that. I mean, I am putting such a small amount of adjustment on the wheel there. There's no way I should be veering all over the road like that. Oh, this looks beautiful here, look. What a great little bridge that is. They should definitely build and implement a replay tool in this. Oh god, what is this noise? I'm going to have to go through these uh, songs and get rid of some of them, I think. Where are we heading? Well, we're just going straight on, aren't we? I think. Getting nervous now. Roma, Napoli and Nord. Oh, that's worrying me. Uh, let's do the old double check the map manoeuvre. Well, according to this, I'll just go straight on. So, straight on it is.
telling me Napoli in the left hand lane so I don't think we need to be in this lane but there was a time when ETS would just suddenly run you off uh, off the road basically Where do you want me? Where do you want me? We're in Napoli, guys. Ah, uh, no, I'm panicking. We are going this way. Because there's a road closure there. Now what? Now <laughs> where are we going? Oh dear. Maybe this is that roundabout. This is this is a cool roundabout though, I've got to say. I may have to stay on this roundabout for a bit. Oh, let's just gamble and go down here. We want to check everywhere out anyway, don't we? So, okay, whilst we've got an opportunity to turn around, I will just check the map and make sure we're going on the right route. Oh, we're spot on. Straight over at next roundabout, and we're there. Excellent. Straight over and we're home free. Could not see that guy. Are we going down here? God damn, I so badly need a sat nav. Straight on it looks like, okay. It's, it's tricky because everywhere it seems to go nearly the same place. Wow, this looks pretty awesome. Oh wow, I'm speeding. Yeah, this is a cool, cool area. Interesting shot. Oh, oh, just rubbed up against the side. Damn it. All this damage, just so you guys can see what's going on. Alrighty. I think we're pretty much coming up to our delivery point. 
I've discovered a recruitment agency. Looks like we're here. A jolly, potentially easy park, as long as I can get through this gate okay. Looks like we're going to be okay. That'll do me, donkey. Jobs are good. Oh, we did damage it a bit. Yeah, damage penalty 1.9. Yeah, yeah, we did do that. <laughs> I can't really pretend that we didn't. Okay, gravy. Oh, look, we've unlocked something. Let's go long distance. Apply that, and then we can go to the Napoli, where is it? To the Napoli truck dealer. And uh, maybe we can pick ourselves up a little truck. So we've got 1,008, 108,000 euros. Ooh, we could go, interesting, 460 HP. That's got actually got higher HP. But this is a sleeper. Oh, they're both sleepers. I don't really understand why this one's more expensive. What's going on here? Engine torque, 2300. 2600. Well, everything else is out of my price range. And... Uh, this, I think this is a perfectly good truck. It looks absolutely fine to me. Maybe we'll just go in and uh, grab some accessories. Can I do some dash accessories? Now, let's have a look, see here. It looks like, it's a shame that the head tracking doesn't work when you're in the cab here like this. Seems a bit odd, really, that it doesn't, but anyway. We'll not complain, we'll not complain. So what I think we need here, most definitely, is a, a Satnav TomTom Tom Pro. What is this? The, hmm. Yeah, I think we'll go for that one. I prefer the positioning. Have we got enough cash left? How much is that? That's 103, so we've got 5,000 left. Can I can I paint the bloody thing? Uh, let's see here. Paint job. Nice UK flag. Dark green. Custom colour. Oh, a custom colour. So uh, Matt Perlston, obviously, uh, he's he's got one of these. <laughs> maybe I should go bright yellow, or maybe maybe yeah. Oh, I like that kind of lime, electric green. That stands out a bit, doesn't it? Oh, some of these are expensive though. Yeah. Okay. So how much is that? That's five thousand two hundred. It's flipping expensive, isn't it? But then I'm going to be in this truck a lot, so uh, I think we'll go for that. Purchase 104,000. We certainly will, won't we, guys? We'll be back. There she is. That's our starter truck. So far things are going pretty well. Although we are back at 
Bar Barry or Barry or whatever the well, wherever the hell we are, Barry. So I guess we're going to have to get a job next week or a next episode to take us all the way down the south coast um, so that we can jump on the jump on the coach uh, uh, on the ferry and uh, yeah, jump on the ferry and do what we do. Very nice, very nice indeed. Quite happy with that. Okay guys, well, thanks for watching. Join me again for the next episode where we'll take this out for our first spin. And uh, <laughs> we've got sat nav now. So that should make life a little bit easier. Till then, Merry Christmas, take good care of yourselves, goodbye for now.